Hello and welcome to video tutorial how to rename domain controller on Windows Server 2003. First, let's check the current name of the computer. To check the name, right click on my computer, click on properties, and then click on computer name tab. Under computer name, you can see the full computer name. Here, the current computer name is prod.servervideos.com. Let's say this computer belongs to production department. Therefore, the name of the computer is prod.servervideos.com. And now, we want to move this computer to sales department. Therefore, we want to change the name as well. So let's say we want to change the name from prod.servervideos.com to sales.servervideos.com. In order to rename the computer, click on change. Here it will show a warning message stating domain controllers cannot be moved from one domain to another. They must first be demoted. Renaming this domain controller may cause it be become temporarily unavailable to users and computers. For more, for more information on renaming domain controllers including alternate renaming methods, see help and support. To continue renaming this domain controller, click on OK. Here we will be clicking on cancel and we will be using the other method for renaming the domain controller. Click on cancel. Now click on start, click on run, type cmd and click on ok. This opens the command prompt. In command prompt we will be using net dom tool. By default net dom tool is not installed. We need to install the NetDOM tool by installing the Windows support tools. For example, let's say we want to take, we want to check the NetDOM tool. Type NetDOM space and type question mark in order to get the help related to this command. Hit enter. It will show NetDOM is not recognized as an internal or external command, operable program or batch file. This means NetDOM tool is not installed. Before proceeding to further, let's check the requirements for using NetDOM tool. The first requirement is domain functional level must be raised to Windows Server 2003. First, let's raise the domain functional level from Windows Server 2000 to 2003. In order to perform this task, you must be a member of domain admins or enterprise admins group or you must have appropriate permission or authority to perform this task. In order to raise the domain functional level, Click on start, go to all programs, go to administrative tools, open active directory users and computers. In active directory users and computers, select domain name, right click on domain name, click on raise domain functional level. Here the current domain functional level is Windows 2000 mixed. To select the available domain functional level, click on drop down and select Windows Server 2003 and then click on Race. It will show a message, this change affects the entire domain. After you raise the domain functional level, it cannot be reversed. This means we cannot drop back the domain functional level back to Windows 2000 mixed mode. Click on OK. It will show you one more message. The functional level was raised successfully. The new functional level 
will now replicate to each domain controller in the domain. The amount of time this will take varies depending on your replication topology. Click on OK. Now let's install the NetDOM tool. To install NetDOM tool, we need to install Windows support tools. To install Windows support tools, insert the Windows Server 2003 CD into the CD drive. After inserting the Windows Server 2003 CD, go to My Computer, click on Start, click on My Computer, open the CD drive, right click, open, and open the support folder. Under support folder, you will find tools folder. Open the tool folder and you will see an msi package file so tools.msi right click and click on install this will open windows support tool setup wizard click on next to continue accept the license agreement click on next click on next click on Select the drive you, in which you want to install. Click on install now. Click on finish. After installing the Windows support tools restart the computer. After system restart, log into the system. Now let's rename the domain controller. To rename the domain controller, click on start, click on run, type cmd and click on ok. This opens the command prompt. Now type net dom space and question mark. This will show you the help available for the net dom command now you can see that the net dom command has been installed in order to change the computer name type net dom space computer name space the current computer name which is dot dot server videos dot com space slash add current now type the new name for the computer this will be the alternate name for the system let's say sales dot servervideos.com click on now hit enter it will show you the command completed successfully this command will update the service principal name attributes in active directory for this computer and registers the DNS resource records for the new computer name now Let's check the names for this computer. To check the primary name, type 
dom computer name current computer name and use this switch slash enumerate colon here to check the primary name type primary name here you can see that the primary name for this computer is prod.servervideos.com similarly in order to check the alternate name use the same command and instead of primary type alternate name alternate names and hit enter you can see that the alternate name is sales.servervideos.com similarly to check all names use the same command and use all names hit enter you can see that it is showing the two names prod.servervideos.com and sales.servervideos.com now to change the name we need to make the sales.servervideos.com as the primary name for this computer to make this name as primary type net dom space computer name current computer name slash make primary colon type the new computer name and hit enter after completing the command restart the computer after system restart log into the system Now let's check the name of the computer. Right click on my computer, click on properties, click on computer name tab. Here you can see that the new computer name is sales.servervideos.com. Now let's remove the old name. To remove the old name, click on start, click on run, type cmd, hit enter. In command prompt, type net dom before removing the name let's check the names net dom computer name current computer name which is sales dot server videos dot com Use the switch slash enumerate colon type all names. You can see that it is showing two names which is sales.servervideos.com and prod.servervideos.com. Now use the same command and use primary name along with the enumerate. You can see that the primary name is sales.servervideos.com. Similarly, check the alternate name. Hit enter. So 
something went wrong names it is alternate names hit enter you can see that the alternate name is prod.servervideos.com now let's remove the old name in order to remove the old name type net dom computer name current computer name space use switch slash remove colon type the old computer name which is prod.servivities.com now hit enter you can see that the command is completed successfully now let's check the all names slash enumerate colon all names hit enter you can see that it is showing only one name sales.servervideos.com similarly you can add the alternate names to the computer and remove the names thank you for watching this video tutorial